state corporations to permanently maximize profits, not homeless funding. 90% of the profits go to out-of-state corporations permanently. Only pennies on the dollar for the homeless permanently. And with loopholes, the homeless get even less permanently. Prop 27. They didn't write it for the homeless. They wrote it for themselves. Start the day with Cheerios Oat Crunch Almond. Topped with oats and sliced almonds, it has all the crunch they'll crave. And that Cheerios energy from whole grains to help keep the whole family going. Cheerios Oat Crunch Almond, also available in cinnamon and oats and honey. Keep crunching. Great customer care is why over 100,000 accident victims have hired us. As a client, you'll get my personal email, so you can always contact me directly, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. We'll fight for you. Hablamos Español. The biggest announcements from Apple's latest event in Cupertino, including a hands-on look at the new iPhones, new Apple Watches, and more in TechSmart. Thursday. We went through fire in the car. It was so scary. Right now at 5, fighting an inferno. The deadly Fairview fire in Hemet exploding in size as crews work through intense heat to contain the flames. Everyone has to do their part to help step up for just a few more days. Taking it to the limit, another day of toasty triple-digit temperatures pushing California's power grid to critical tonight, when blackouts could begin as the governor takes action to keep the Golden State going. We don't, we don't need the green lawns as much. Don't waste water either. Tightening the tap. Today's the day for millions of SoCal residents to stop outdoor watering during repairs to the pipeline. Why some spots say they need not comply with the ban. Good afternoon, this is the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. Our big story, we don't even have to say it, right? We already know what it is. You felt it all day. So this that Southern California sweltering that's happening. We're in the middle of a record setting heat wave and it's being marked by devastating and deadly wildfires. The extreme heat is also posing a threat to the power grid. It is possible that we could see punishing rolling blackouts and we have it all covered with live team coverage from the fire lines to potential power problems and why millions are tightening their taps tonight. But first, let's go straight up to our Gil Levis in Sky 5 overhead that Fairview fire raging in Hemet. Gil, what's the latest? Pedro and Cher, you're looking at one of the many tankers out here covering this fire, the Fairview fire, they're calling it in Hemet. They're taking water out of Diamond Valley Lake. Let me pan over, uh, tilt up and pan over to the fire. You can see the distance they have to fly to the fire here. We're looking from the west to the east and it really is blowing up here. The fire has uh, shifted, actually the wind has shifted and pushed the fire back against it itself since yesterday. Now it's going in the northeasterly direction towards the Idlewild area. We're looking at all the previous burn area here. In fact, uh, up, up the canyon, the Avery Canyon, you can see some of the homes that were impacted here and the fire retardant lines that were dropped in here. Looks like some of these homes, actually most of those homes there were saved. Seven, uh, seven structures burned so far. The fire is, like I said, moving out into the wilderness and uh, fire crews are doing what they can in the air and on the ground. We, we were watching fire retardant drops on the southern flank. That's this side of the fire. A lot of heavy uh, branches of fire that's burning up in this area. You can see the uh, fire retardant lines there on the ground. That's the latest overhead in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Gil, thank you. And let's go now to our Shelby Nelson on the ground near those fire, fire lines. Shelby? Yeah, Sheriff Pedro, this heat and wind are making it that much more difficult for fire crews out here who have been working in triple digit temperatures all day. And within 24 hours, we've seen that it's not only deadly, but also proved to be extremely destructive. Now take a look right behind me. You can still see those huge plumes of black smoke billowing out into the air coming off of those active flames burning on the opposite side of that ridge right behind us. Fire officials say that fortunately it is now burning in the opposite direction than yesterday when and it was threatening nearby structures. It's now burning towards the mountain community of Idlewild, but officials say it's got a lot of ground to cover before it gets there.
Day two of the Fairview fire now burning thousands of acres up Gibble Road and through Avery Canyon. This is the aftermath for this Hemet community. One home blanketed in retardant, another burned to the ground with a fireplace still standing and other areas that continue to smolder. When we got to the property, all we can do is just water the top of the roof in the outside, the grass or whatever. And uh, from that point, it was scary. Sal Gonzaga says he and his wife went back home shortly after the fire first broke out Monday afternoon. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna slide out. Oh my god. It wasn't long before they were evacuated. Cell phone video captures the moment they get in their truck racing to safety. We were shaking because they told us to evacuate. I didn't think it was that bad. When we drove down the hill, we went through fire in the car. It was so scary. We came down here, we were shaking. Uh, it was terrible, but we are alive and uh, our house is still standing, thank God. In just 24 hours, the fire causing unthinkable devastation, killing two people. Another person suffered burn injuries and had to be taken to a nearby hospital. Several structures damaged with many more still threatened. I feel so stressful. So stressful because all my horses is in there. For Maria Velasco, get